Prisha, a kind-hearted waitress at an upscale restaurant, made the compassionate decision to feed a homeless man, despite her boss's orders. An hour later, the grateful man handed her a note, setting off a series of unexpected events that would profoundly impact Prisha's life. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. That fateful morning as Prisha made her way to work, she had no inkling of the life-altering choice she was about to make. Just like any other day, the bustling restaurant, situated in the heart of the city, kept her on her feet, shuffling between the kitchen and tables to meet the constant demands of customers. Though the stress of the job weighed on her, Prisha's unwavering dedication never wavered. Little did she know, however, that this day would bring a dramatic turn of events that would forever change the course of her life in ways she could never have imagined. About half an hour into her shift, the restaurant's entrance abruptly burst open, drawing everyone's attention. The sight that greeted them was startling. A disheveled, homeless black man had stepped inside, appearing lost and uncertain. He slowly made his way to an empty table near the door, his tattered shirt, threadbare shorts, and well-worn shoes, a stark contrast to the elegant surroundings. As the man settled into his seat, a hush fell over the room, and whispers began to circulate. Patrons eyed him with a mix of curiosity and disdain, wondering what business a homeless individual had in such an upscale establishment. Undeterred, Prisha, the compassionate waitress, approached the man with a warm smile and introduced herself. She kindly inquired about his name and what he would like to order. Ellen, he replied, requesting any food he could be provided. Reaching into his pocket, he produced a few crumpled dollar bills, intending to pay for his meal. Before Prisha could respond, the heavy footsteps of her manager, Tony, echoed behind her. The frowning man fixed a disdainful glare upon the homeless patron, ordering him to remain still and not steal anything. Tony then pulled Prisha aside, admonishing her for her kindness and instructing her to immediately remove the man from the premises. Stunned by Tony's harsh reaction, Prisha found herself in a moral dilemma. She knew that serving Ellen was the right thing to do, but she also understood the risks of defying her boss's orders. Tony, a stickler for rules and regulations, had made it clear that he catered solely to the city's wealthiest clientele, leaving Prisha to wrestle with the decision that would ultimately test the bounds of her principles. Turning back, Prisha saw Ellen still standing where Tony had left him, looking utterly out of place. Her heart clenched at the sight. She simply couldn't turn him away. Guiding him to a more secluded area of the lobby, where customers rarely congregated, Prisha hurried to the kitchen and returned with a generous plate of food. Worried that this might be his only meal, she urged him to eat his fill. When he tried to pay her with the crumpled bills he had retrieved, Prisha refused to accept them, sensing they were likely all the money he possessed. Ellen expressed profound gratitude for her kindness, a stark contrast to the disdainful looks he had received from the other patrons. As Ellen departed, using one hand to hold up his tattered shorts, Prisha returned to her duties, momentarily distracted from the encounter. But her reprieve was short-lived, as the furious shouts of her manager, Tony, soon reached her ears. Gently placing the tray she was carrying on the kitchen counter, Prisha braced herself to face her enraged boss. Tony wasted no time in berating her, calling Prisha a big fool, and demanding that she report to his office immediately. In that moment, Prisha's heart sank realizing that her act of compassion could jeopardize the job she so desperately needed. Prisha came from a family facing significant challenges. Her mother, a single parent, struggled to make ends meet, and Prisha's younger sister required special care. After a tragic accident left her mother disabled, the burden of supporting her family fell squarely on Prisha's shoulders. The job at the restaurant was a vital lifeline, not just for Prisha, but for her entire family. Now, as she stood before her fuming manager, Prisha feared that her selfless decision to help the homeless man could cost her the very position that sustained her loved ones. She had worked tirelessly to get to this point, and the thought of losing it all due to her empathy weighed heavily on her heart. Prisha's world, already challenging, was about to be turned upside down once more. Undaunted, Prisha began actively seeking out new employment opportunities. 
determined to secure a better future for herself. She diligently submitted applications across the city, weathering a series of rejections before finally receiving a promising email, an invitation to interview at one of the city's elite five-star restaurant chains. Prisha aced the interview, impressing the management with her skills and personable demeanor. Customers at her current restaurant had always been drawn to her warmth and approachability, generously rewarding her with tips. This strong track record had allowed Prisha to establish a stable financial footing, covering her household expenses. Yet, as she walked with trepidation to Tony's office, Prisha feared that she was about to lose everything. Standing before her irate manager, she clasped her hands and kept her eyes downcast, bracing herself for his judgment. Prisha prayed that he would not slash her salary, as that would jeopardize her efforts to save for her mother's much-needed prosthetic legs on top of the existing medical bills. To Prisha's shock, Tony did not merely cut her pay, he fired her outright. The manager lambasted her, declaring that her actions had violated the restaurant's principles and could deter their elite clientele. He ordered Prisha to leave the premises immediately. Rooted to the spot, Prisha struggled to process the harsh reality. She had never anticipated such a severe punishment, and the weight of her termination reverberated in her ears. Mustering her courage, Prisha clasped her hands in a desperate plea, apologizing for defying his wishes and begging for another chance. However, Tony remained steadfast, warning her to cease her pleas and depart or face removal by security. Prisha leaned against Tony's desk, one final plea on her lips. She asked him to consider reducing her salary instead, a sacrifice she was willing to make to preserve her family's sole source of income. But her desperate bargaining fell on deaf ears, leaving Prisha to face the devastating loss of the job she had fought so hard to maintain. Despite Prisha's desperate pleas, Tony remained unwavering in his decision to terminate her employment. Exhausted from begging, Prisha resigned herself to her fate, her shoulders drooping as she made her way to the locker room, eyes downcast to conceal her tears. Packing her belongings into a box, Prisha hurried towards the back exit, hoping to slip out unnoticed by the customers. However, as she navigated the narrow hallway, she encountered someone else entering the restaurant, a well-dressed man engaged in a phone conversation. The man paused, his gaze drawn to the box in Prisha's hands. Briefly interrupting his call, he retrieved a pen and paper from the box, scribbling a message and handing it to Prisha with a warm smile. As Prisha accepted the note, a surge of recognition washed over her. The man was none other than Alan, the homeless individual she had helped earlier. Gone were his tattered clothes, replaced by the attire of a wealthy patron. Prisha marveled at the transformation, barely processing the situation before Alan waved and continued on his way towards Tony's office. Glancing down at the note, Prisha read the simple instruction. Don't leave yet. Curious and hopeful, Prisha decided to heed the message and found a seat to wait for Alan's return. It didn't take long, as within 15 minutes, Alan emerged from Tony's office, summoning Prisha to join him. As Prisha stepped into the office, she was stunned by the sight before her. Alan now occupied the manager's chair, while Tony stood meekly in front of him, his hands clasped in a posture of deference. With a reassuring smile, Alan offered to explain the situation to Prisha. He revealed that he was the new owner of the restaurant, having inherited it from his late father. Alan, a successful businessman himself, had long been troubled by his father's policy of catering exclusively to the wealthy, segregating the rich from the poor. Now, as the new proprietor, Alan was determined to enact a more inclusive approach, one that reflected his ethical values. Prisha stood in awe her confusion gradually giving way to understanding as Alan's words painted a picture of the unexpected turn of events. Her act of compassion, which had cost her the job, had now placed her in a position to witness a profound transformation within the very establishment she had served. Alan revealed that he had a transformative vision for the restaurant, one where it would serve as a haven for all, welcoming everyone who could afford to dine, regardless of their financial status. To test this approach, he had been secretly visiting the various branches, posing as a homeless individual to gauge the establishment's response. Prisha's compassionate treatment of him was the only one that had aligned with his ethical ideals. 
Scolding Tony for his harsh decision to fire Prisha, Alan explained that this particular branch had faced numerous complaints about its unwelcoming treatment of customers, perceived to have limited means. Recognizing Tony's poor leadership as detrimental to the business, Alan promptly dismissed the manager. In a remarkable turn of events, the assistant manager was promoted to the position, and Prisha herself was elevated to the role of assistant manager. Alan emphasized that this was not solely due to Prisha's kind heart, but also because he wanted her to ensure the restaurant became a more welcoming and inclusive environment for all who entered, regardless of their financial status. Prisha was stunned by the rapid transformation of her circumstances. Just hours earlier, she had faced the devastating loss of her job, and now she found herself entrusted with the responsibility of overseeing the implementation of Alan's vision. This sudden reversal left her struggling to process the sequence of events. As Tony departed the premises with his belongings, the staff celebrated the end of his tyrannical reign. Prisha embraced her new role, determined to uphold the values of kindness and inclusion that had secured her this opportunity. She promised Alan that she would work tirelessly to bring his vision for Rainbow's End to life, creating a haven where people of all means could feel welcomed and at home. Prisha's dedication and hard work did not go unnoticed. By the end of the year, she was recognized as the restaurant's Employee of the Year. As a gift, Prisha was overjoyed to receive top-quality prosthetic legs for her mother, a tangible symbol of the remarkable transformation in her fortunes. Reflecting on her journey, Prisha vowed to never compromise her principles of kindness and compassion, regardless of the circumstances. This inspiring story of unexpected redemption serves as a testament to the power of empathy and the transformative impact it can have, not just on an individual's life, but on an entire organization. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.